Good girl. Come on, look. Good girl. Sit. Good. Here we go with our stationing mat exercise. I'm going to do it out in the yard today. Go to your mat. Down. Good. So in this yard is just a lot of places that I can go and leave out of and come back. A lot of doorways, gateways. And although we've already practiced in your house, in your living room with the one front door, this is actually more challenging for her. Good, because we got, I'm gonna go inside the house and leave her alone in the yard. I'm gonna go out the gate. There's another gate there, there's another gate there. I can walk much farther away than I can if I'm inside. And so <clears throat> I wanted to show you this good outside uh, exercise as well. So I decided to film this. Um, you wanna just start doing basic things like walking around her, if she stays down, you reward her. Good. Make sure you put it on the mat and she takes it off the mat, not, not uh, trying to grab it out of your hands. Make sure that you go around both sides equally. So she's used to going behind her from both directions. Good. And you can start walking farther, much farther away. I'm going to go over into the corner of the yard here, out of her eyesight, come back. Every time she stays there, when you come back, she gets her reward, and you say, good. I'm gonna walk way over here behind her. And I don't think even you can see me from the camera. Come back, see, show her though, she's unconcerned. It's something we've practiced in a lot of different places a bunch of times, so she knows how this goes. Good. She has to stay calm, and she knows when she's doing this exercise that she stays calm, everything's fine as long as she stays there, no matter what happens, no matter where I go, no matter what noises pop up. And if we put her in this state of mind, even for five minutes a day, every day, this calm state of mind starts to take over her life. And anything that uh, she does on this mat will carry over to the outside world as well. That's why she has a much better downstay overall now because she practiced it on the mat first. Good. And now she can do it other places as well. But the mat's a real specific way to teach her at first by doing it on the mat. And it teaches her faster by doing it on the mat. So it's a, it's a good thing to keep doing. So now I'm gonna walk in the house and close the door behind me. And uh, we'll see how she does. If you're ever gonna do anything that's difficult for her to handle, it's okay to remind her what you want her to keep doing. So, can you see her? Down, before I go in. I'm gonna go in here, show me going in now. I'm close the door behind me. And come back, good. Always come back and reward her from in front of her like this, good. Uh, I'm going to go through this gate here, down, and this is the yard that she's free in a lot too, that she runs around in and plays, so having to stay calm in this yard is very useful for her as well, because sometimes she's out of control here because she's all excited and running around, and now we're asking her to have focus and control. So I'm gonna leave the yard. Come back. Good. You can say good from afar when you come back, but then make sure you always say good when she gets her reward as well. And you can do things like um, also pull on the leash. I'm actually trying to, in this video, trying to see if, I'm gonna do everything, see if I can make her get up. No, she gets up. She gets up, just gently but firmly put her back. She knows what this means and she'll just go back down with your left foot. No pointing, no snapping of fingers, no funny noises. Just say no, and just do that and she'll go back. So what was I doing? I was pulling on the leash and if this is going to be difficult, difficult for her, I'm going to say 
down before I do it. Good, and she stayed there. Now I'm gonna try it from different angles. Down, good. It's just a different way, no, don't let her touch your hand. Good, just a different way to teach her focus and teach her another, just another way to test her, her ability to stay there no matter what. Very good, I pulled pretty hard on that too. Good, so I did that from all different angles. You always wanna, if you're doing something, always try it from different angles to make sure that you've hit her from different angles so that she, she's good from everywhere. So just makes her a lot more well-rounded if you do it that way. And so I'm gonna reward her again. Good. So you can do this anywhere. Of course, if you're gonna drop the leash, you wanna make sure that you do it in a fenced yard just in case she jumps up. And you, know, you wanna make sure that you can get her back. Um, you can do it inside your house. Of course, inside your house, you're going to come outside and knock on the door or something or bang on the windows and then <clears throat> go back inside and she'll be down there. She's practiced that a lot as well. So, um, five minutes a day. And if she's perfect in a spot, then you know that you have to do things differently. Like here, for, for example, if she's perfect with her head facing this way, if you have, if you have limited space, Next time, just put her, ha her head facing that way. Okay, so maybe if she was gonna stay with me longer, okay, I would start practicing sit with her facing the other way. Go, down, good, good girl. And then maybe I'd also move this mat over to this part of the yard or over there or turn it that way so her, fit, her head was facing that way or maybe put it on the porch. So even in a, in a room or a yard, if she's been perfect in one spot, you need to kind of start pushing the envelope and, and doing it a different way because you always need to challenge her just a little bit so she keeps growing. If you only did it in, in one spot forever, she'd eventually just start getting bored and getting stale and uh, wouldn't be so good anymore. So you always want to be, um, doing something that maybe is just a little bit difficult for her, something new. And uh, if she makes a little mistake here and there, it's actually a good thing because that means that she's still learning. So I'm gonna take her off the mat now. Okay. Sit. So when you release her off the mat, make sure that you release her to be free from a calm sit stay, not off the mat and just taking off. She's still on the clock until you have her sit, since everything ends with a calm sit stay. Everything starts and everything ends with a calm sit stay. She sat first before I released her on the mat, and now she's gonna sit before I release her to be free. Go, now she's free. Good girl. Come on.